I think we all know that most free stuff comes with certain limitations, but hey, I'd like to find out if a free password manager is a feasible solution, at least for your specific online activities. Hey, I'm Mike and welcome or welcome back. So I was actually recently trying out NordPass and Keeper's free options to see if their free plans are as good as they claim. So in this video, I'm gonna pit free versus premium password managers against each other and then point out any major red flags. Now, NordPass free versus premium? Well, where do I start? I mean, we're talking a well-respected password manager company established by the creators of NordVPN themselves. Alongside their monopoly of the cybersecurity sphere comes the really interesting stuff like studies, like the most common passwords of 2022, or even top passwords in different industries. Basically, what I'm getting at here is they're reputable. So if a free plan is going to be banging, we should be expecting that from these guys, right? Okay, so I was testing it out and quite honestly, there are a few reasons to consider this provider as one of the best password manager options. First off, I went to their webpage and look at that. No credit card details required for free access. Nice, very nice. The next thing that stood out was their free plan offers an unlimited amount of passwords and all of which can easily be altered using their streamlined password generator as well, which uniquely lets you choose a phrase password for even easier memorizing. But hey, I use a password manager to not have to remember anything, so there you go. Now it isn't only passwords that I could store in my vault either. The free plan lets me store notes and credit card details really easily, and even keep all of them really well organized through all the personalized folders that you can create. Now I gotta tell you, I was actually surprised that the basics of a password manager are all there. Importing and exporting passwords, and even autofill. Their autofill works pretty good too. Every time I entered a website, NordPass would prompt me to save the password, or in some cases, autofill logged me in directly. On the security front, NordPass has a great foundation. This is in the form of industry standard encryption. It's great that it's even included in the free plan, but there isn't much else for more advanced security without going over to the premium side. Sure, there's several 2FA methods, which is a much safer approach than the previous email confirmations, but beyond that, there's not much else. So for those looking for more flashy and advanced security features, the biggest takeaway of today is, well, for free, they're gonna be few and far between. So on the topic of security, what's really at risk when you go for weaker security capabilities, especially when comparing free password managers versus premium? Well, for starters, free plans don't even scan the dark web to check if your prized data has ended up in a dark web database. And yeah, that happens a lot more than you'd think. I mean, just look here. I'm using our password leak tool. Ta-da, shameless little plug. What can I say? <laughs> I'm a company man. Now, this scans a collection of 988 million leaked passwords. So I'll just type in my old password, shamefully used for many years back since college. And there you have it, leaked across 6,564 databases. Oh, crap. Of course, this is just an example, but it shows you the gravity of a weak password. NordPass free versus premium can't even hold a candle in the wind in this regard. With dark web protection locked behind a paywall, their premium option offers easy and even more advanced protection for your password. Another super useful area where a premium option can help is password auditing. So let's say I haven't updated my password in a while, or worse off, I've reused passwords across many accounts for convenience and or laziness reasons. Please, just don't make this mistake yourself. Anyway, all I gotta do here is head down to the password health section and ba-bam! Here will be an at-a-glance overview of stuff I need to update in order to avoid a breach. Okay. But what about all the everyday kind of stuff, you ask? Well, NordPass lets you do a few standard things for free, but the biggest limitation in my eyes is not being able to share items with trusted sources. Like, what do you do when you need to uh, pass on your Netflix login credentials to that streaming mooch pal of yours? Well, most likely the method you choose is not gonna be encrypted, leaving you open to eavesdropping from cyber criminals. Worse off, what if your account is stolen? Say you forget your master password or you lose your device altogether. I cannot stress how convenient it is to have access to the premium emergency access, something that you just won't find with the free plans. 
Again, this is quality of life kind of stuff, but it really does make your life easier when shit hits the fan. All right, guys, as I said, there are known limitations when it comes to free plans, and it does boil down to two main factors, your budget and what capabilities you personally need. Having said that, a couple bucks a month shouldn't really be your biggest concern here. If you can invest, NordPass is extremely affordable. Currently, plans start as low as around $1.50 a month, and there's even a 30-day money-back guarantee. In case you find it isn't for you, you can just cancel. And if you like the best possible price, we'll always add deals for our tried and tested recommendations down in the description. So be sure to check those out at the end of this best free versus premium password managers video. Uh, but wait, hang on a second. I'd be a fool if I were to only talk about NordPass free. After all, there are other market leaders that offer free stuff too. Enter Keeper. Right off the bat, gotta say, the Keeper password manager is feature heavy and an extremely customizable option. For starters, once you open up that desktop app, it's streamlined from the word go. With Keeper free, I was able to access my private vault and generate and store passwords. With the free plan, this is capped at one device and with only local storage, meaning you can't access your vault online unless you upgrade. Now, I don't know about you, but that's kind of a big deal for me personally, and it makes it less versatile than NordPass for sure. Now, it's super cool that Keeper doesn't discriminate between non and paid users in terms of security, offering solid layered encryption and even 2FA with their free offering. Likewise to NordPass, you can export your passwords for free and there are customer support options like email and live chat. It's a true godsend seeing as Keeper does pack a lot of customization options. So if you're a beginner, you might have a steep learning curve and need some help. Well, at least this way, you've got somewhere to turn to get that help. Okay, now all of this sounds pretty good. So is there a reason to consider Keeper Premium? Well, in my opinion, there are actually many. The biggest being that you can't access your online web vault without upgrading. I travel a lot and being able to get my passwords from anywhere is an absolute must. And of course, it unlocks a lot of unlimited stuff as well. Multiple device sync, unlimited passwords, and being able to generate passwords across different devices. I was even surprised that Keeper actually allows one single password to be a whopping 100 characters. <laughs> that is madness overkill madness. Mm. But what stands out the most is being able to delete records and folders for privacy enthusiasts. This is a must have, because you gotta be able to control what data you've got stored on your device, right? So when I was testing it out, I could easily share these with trusted sources. And a fairly new addition is being able to digitize any document making saving and sharing unbelievably easy. Likewise to NordPass, you aren't limited to password storing. You can add up to five encrypted files, there's emergency access, a data breach checker, and even three methods of communication with the premium plan. But Keeper has a lot more under its belt, and that's in their additions like self-destruct, which means you can blow the roof off the whole thing and automatically erase all locally stored passwords if the need arises. I can't stress how cool this really is and something you're not gonna see from any other free password manager. They even got the Keeper chat that I mentioned in my Keeper password manager review. This integrates with your password manager and is an encrypted messaging app with self-destructing messages. Oh, they really love those smoke and mirrors, don't they? Anyway, the deciding factor in this Keeper free versus premium debate is whether it's worth the cost. Sure, there's the great value with such unique additions. Their personal unlimited plan is currently just under $3 a month. I'd keep in mind some features are available for an extra cost, so it can start to rack up. Having said all of that, their entry level price is still pretty affordable, and they offer really solid security, great customizations, and even have been independently audited. Oh, and on that note, new audits and updates happen on the regular, so you might wanna consider slamming that subscribe button and tap like to see more weekly content. It really makes a difference to our channel, and it means you're never gonna miss another video. Okay, the takeaway of today's free password manager versus premium? Well, I generally recommend a premium password manager if you can invest. The capabilities tend to be more sophisticated and offers up more peace of mind when it comes to protecting your data. However, I'd always recommend going for a reputable provider, free or otherwise. And these are two of the best free password manager options. 
Just remember, a free password manager won't really be a long-term reliable fix. You'll start to notice the downsides pretty quickly. So in that case, I've offered up my two recommendations. My NordPass review details how it's one of the best password managers since it marries four main categories that are invaluable when used together in harmony. Ease of use, security, compatibility, and performance. Great for novice and advanced users alike. Keeper comes in at a slightly higher price point, but they have unique features that I haven't yet seen in other password managers. Okay, but let's hear what you think of premium versus free password managers. Maybe you're using a password manager now, so drop us your recommendations in the comments section. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.